Oh, halfway to home plate, and the pitch is to the balk. Yep, first base umpire has called a balk. Ryan Blackney. You know what? As McCutcheon came sprinting down the line because with the shift on, he could come halfway to home plate without any fear of being picked off at third, and it upset the rhythm of Colin Ray. You know, I don't think that's a balk because he continued with his delivery. He didn't stop. Yeah. Watch. Sure, he speeds it up. Okay, he starts, right? That's not a balk. No. That is not a balk. That so, is not a balk. So Brian Gorman, the crew chief, is talking with Carlson. Now the other two umpires come in to huddle up, and we'll see whether or not they concur on the call. He started his delivery. He continued. Sure, he sped up, but he continued to throw the ball towards home plate. I've got no balk. Okay, starts right, continues to go. Oh, you know what? His foot, I just noticed his back foot. It came off the rubber, then it is still in contact with the rubber. Did you see that, Dick? That little hop? From that angle, yeah. There was a little hitch in the giddy up there. But you know, the fact that Clint Hurdle's come out may be a good sign for the Padres. Maybe they're going to change their mind about the call. See, this is one of those rules where his foot is in contact with the rubber. It looked like he came up, kind of maybe hopped on the rubber, and then made the throw towards the plate after hopping. Focus, focus on his foot right there. Now watch. See how he kind of hops a little bit? He, he loses contact with the rubber. You know what? I... You know what? I, I don't think it's a balk. Well, apparently it isn't because they've uh, brought uh, McCutcheon out of the dugout and positioned him back at third base. So, can you, as a pitcher, during your windup, raise your foot off the rubber and replant it? We and don't not suggest trying that at home. It'd be dangerous, yeah. But. And this is going to continue. Now, Hurdle. Hurdle. Going to, yeah, he's going to have a second thought here. Now Hurdle, he uh, he'll be right up among the league leaders this year. Managers getting ejected. He's uh, second to Bruce Bochy of the active managers. Bochy's been uh, given the heave ho 68 times and Hurdle 50 times in his career. This is not a reviewable or a place where a manager can challenge the call, so they can't go to the replay in New York. And it's not going to make Hurdle any happier. He's going to make his point and continue to make his point until he gets tossed or and another gets his way. Another, I'm going to have another. They're yeah. going to huddle again. Huddle for Hurdle. They have a new series here on Fox Sports San Diego. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow. We'll have the second edition of Huddle with Hurdle. Or without Hurdle in this case. He's a, he can work on that gun, masticate with the best of them. Now they're going to have Andy Green come out and explain. Now maybe they're going to take a U turn. Again, as McCutcheon walks down from third, just in case he's going to touch home plate. Pete McCannon, the uh, the manager at Philadelphia and Andy Green are the only managers, and of course that's because their tenure has just begun, that have not been thrown out of a major league game. Hurdle in a confident pose at the moment, as if he might have won the argument. 
He's gone. Good for Andy Green. Get your money's worth. They call a balk, and then they rescind it, and then the, now they call it a balk again? There's the other side of the normally placid, calm, articulate green. And uh, Mark McGuire wants to make sure he doesn't get into any physical contact and uh, lose his manager from McGuire, the bench coach, will take over the team as Green is dismissed. Awful, he said. Love to see the fight. And uh, we've heard that there is that element in his personality, and uh, good for all of us to see it in action. Mm -hmm. 